Previously on The Potentialists. I would please like Alexa to read aloud what I have wrote. Tape and all, I ruined it with a slip of six words. The words, yeah, it was only 25 minutes. You said that? Oh no. The deal was, if I spoke, I would have to leave. How many times have we said he has to go, he has to go, he has to go? He broke his vow, he's gotta go. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. First of all, he got to start his day one, but also he manned up to the issue and he didn't continue talking. It's already hard enough to have done it for seven days. The average person won't, probably won't make it seven days. I mean, obviously, surgeon tried and he did it for less than an hour. It wasn't that he spoke, he misspoke. It's different. I would say it's a pass, but not for him to think there's any sign of weakness on our part. What about you? I'm so proud of him and I had complete faith that he was gonna be able to do 21 days. Adding a whole nother week is very severe. The fact that it was such a minor thing what he did, I think we shouldn't add a week, we should add a day. Let him redo this day. He took some time to go right, to go, to go do- That's all wonderful. And then he and came I, back and, and went back to work. I respect that, and that's wonderful. You, you've done a great job for seven days. I'm very proud of you. I mean, to me it was a major up. But the thing is, in life, sometimes those little f***ups will cost you everything. You know, in four years, that I've known OJ. This is the humblest I've ever seen. I've never seen him like this in four years. Yep, I think this is what you needed for massive growth. No, we don't know yet. We'll find out then. No matter what, this right here, what I'm looking at, is somebody different. Somebody would change. So, LJ began his 21-day vow of silence anew. This is his voice. What does it say? Hi, my name is LJ, and I'm on day two of my 21-day vow of silence. I know I may look a little rather silly, however, any of my team members would be more than happy to explain further. Currently, my only means of com communication is a small whiteboard in my hand. We have all Disney characters. What do you think about that? I think it's awesome. Meanwhile, while Bert was pouring over LJ's words in the living room, Sergio was busy pouring drinks in the kitchen. What? Step one, you put ice in a cup of sun rocks. For you two? And you pour any alcohol over the ice because the ice then absorbs the flavor of the alcohol. Good year. <laughs> and of course, the next thing you need is a good mixer, which can be found inside the refrigerator. Let's see what we got. Uh, we're gonna give Alexa, let's see, let's give her a mix of Coke. Red wine, no. Oh yeah, sweet blue tea. One of the problems that LJ deals with constantly during the 21 day vow of silence is the issue of when he tries to eat or put anything in his mouth. Insert dirty pun here. Right now he wants to drink his nice glass of water and fish tape as he keeps going like no entry. How do you solve this? With a good hole and a straw to poke it through. See? Exhibit A. And while the search had reached its last straw, still none could be found. That's unfortunate. In there, do we have a straw? Drive to get one? You have to drive to go get a straw? This discussion went on for several minutes. Fortunately, off screen, Sergio was able to find a straw in a previously searched in cabinet. If you do it my way, it's gonna be much better. I want you to poke you in the hole. All right. When sucking, it is always good to remember. Don't choke! <laughs> so does it work? <laughs> that means give me a kiss. Ooh, I got a kiss from a girl. I'm not used to those. He's gay. But that's not what Sabrina told LJ. She asked him a secret question, to which LJ replied. Later that night at the power social, Sergio and Alexa explained LJ's vow of silence to the attending guests. They're much better much interesting when they're on stage, huh? But who would give you the right to help him? He asked for it. Uh -huh. He asked for it. He wanted him to mentor him, and he had to follow a set of rules, and he was breaking the rules. So don't mentor me, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to wear it? No, it's okay. You're a pro. Valerie, having previously gone through her own 21-day commitment, then demonstrated another powerful tool Boworld teaches. And when I'm really focused, I can bend my head and it will stay. I'm not sure if it will do that right now because I have this audience and it's, I already feel like it's moving. Is it moving? No. It's not? Okay. 
And it has no glue, no nothing. No, no, no nothing. nothing. It's just a regular quarter. It helps you just stay centered. If you have like a negative moment or a moment where you're frustrated or aggravated or whatever, it will fall right off. Yeah. And Several days later and still silent, LJ and the rest of the family enjoyed a visit from their Puerto Rican redneck friend, Ralphie. You can't talk, you got in trouble again, didn't you? That's what happens when you talk too much. <laughs> What Ralphie had out there was a moving truck. And after a not so brief discussion on how to move it, All right, hey, put, put a piece of tape on his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's trying to find me. It. it wasn't me. Ralphie had just returned from reversing his trailer into the backyard and into LJ's motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me? <laughs>